Dear members of Academia Europea, it is my pleasure to give a few words of welcome as the chair of the humanities class. The humanities encompass a wide range of disciplines, philosophy, linguistics, literature, archaeology, musicology, history and more. Last week, we welcomed 104 new members. I want to highlight a couple of important ways in which the humanities contribute to academia and society. The hub in Wroclaw, Poland, plays an important role in facilitating academic events in the humanities. In the past 18 months, we have, of course, been restricted from physical meetings, but the hub has facilitated online workshops, such as the recent major event on iconoclasm, past and present issues. The workshop addressed the recurring phenomenon of the destruction of images or monuments for political or religious reasons through history. Damnatio memoriae, the Roman practice of official obliteration of a specific individual or event has chilling parallels to the present day. The papers presented will be published in the European Review the Academia Europea sponsored peer-reviewed journal published with Cambridge University Press and to which of course you all have free access as members of the Academy. A second major initiative is the Task Force on Environment, Climate and Sustainability. The initiative for the Task Force came from the Humanities class and has been adopted as a cross-academy priority. The task force aims to identify a range of critical questions relating to climate and environmental change research that carry a clearly significant societal and or policy dimension and that can realistically be addressed with confidence and in some part by the application of expert knowledge from across the membership. The task will recognize where AE does and does not have a critical mass in this arena at present and suggest any course of action to address these weaknesses in the future. I'm delighted that Professor Verena Vinivata has agreed to chair and coordinate the work of the task force. Professor Vinivata was elected a member of the history and archaeology section of AE in 2020. Academia Europea exists to promote and safeguard research excellence. Academic freedom constantly needs to be defended, explained and utilized. Unfortunately, academic freedom is under threat in some countries. Humanities scholars are sometimes put in a fragile and isolated position. Academia Europea speaks up and works hard to defend intellectual curiosity and independence. I trust new and old members use your membership of Academia Europea to expand your network of trusted colleagues and friends. Thank you and warm welcome to everybody.